Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'll be revisiting my boy Darius. So in the beginning part of the video I'm going to explain to you how to build Darius and I haven't made a video I haven't made a Darius video for a very long time so my perspective has changed on how to build him so I do recommend you to watch the build part but if you just want to skip to the gameplay there's timestamps in the description. So I just want to say something funny. I literally like this these are my pajamas so I had a really no you know what I'm gonna tell the story during the gameplay that's more fun right now let's just explain the build so there are obviously several builds that you can go for but I don't want to waste your time like you know I know there is a full tank there is build like here there, there, I'm just gonna show you the build this build is good it's gonna make you incredibly tanky really solid frontline but we're not here for tank Darius today we're here for fighter Darius so the other item that Darius can go for is a Black Cleaver instead of Trinity Force. The build is basically the same, like you go Black Cleaver and then the same items. So the difference is Black Cleaver is going to make you tankier. Black Cleaver is going to be better to support your team. Black Cleaver is going to, um, Black Cleaver is just better against tanks. However, Trinity Force deals infinitely more damage. It's just, it, it deals way more damage. That's the thing. Like, I really, really, really always prefer Trinity Force on Darius every single game over a Black Cleaver. I'm not saying Black Cleaver is bad. I'm just saying Trinity Force is better to carry the game. So, you start with a Trinity Force. And honestly, this item is really hard to get before the first dragon. That's really the... That's, I would say that that is the only weakness of this item. That it's really hard to get before the first dragon it used to be even harder because the item used to cost 3733 gold now it's 3533 but it's still a lot like you need at least one kill and probably even two kills to get it before the first dragon so keep that in mind guys um but yeah trinity force and then secondly you want to get boots there are several boots that you can go for first of all plated steel caps if the enemy is full attack damage boom you go for plated steel caps or if the enemy is like heavy attack damage and you feel like you're not going to be bothered too much by the ability power champion boom you go for the plated steel caps however i found a new thing with darius like a whole new um, i don't want to say a whole new play style but like a new combination of things let me tell you about it immediately the combination is Mercury Strats, Hunter Titan Rune, and Death's Dance. Let me tell you about it. So, you're gonna have 55 tenacity. So, you know, stuns, roots, charms, anything like that is, is basically gonna be nothing to you because the duration is gonna be reduced significantly. And if you combine that with a Death's Dance, you're basically going to be really, really good against burst CC champions like Twisted Fate. Ari especially, um, Varus with the ultimate, Senna, you know, like I can call a lot of champions, basically CC, like you're going to be a frontliner for your team and CC is going to be nothing to you. You're going to be going right through that CC because you have 55% tenacity. So let's talk about this combo. You're going to go Mercury Threats and these are the boots that I'm actually going in 90% of my games now on Darius. Um, However, still as your second item, Dead Man's Blade. If the enemy really has any sort of like attack damage, unless they have like a lot of ability power, but if uh, uh, besides that, just go for the Dead Man's Blade. It's the perfect item for Darius. It allows you to catch up to anyone, because as it reads, if you stack up the 100 stacks of momentum, it's gonna give you 50 bonus movement speed. Now let's take a look at Boots. Boots give you 20 movement speed. Now compare it to 50 movement speed from the bonus of the Dead Man's Blade. What does that mean? It allows you to catch up to anyone. That's why I said this is pretty much the, a core item on Darius. Um, the passive is just way too good, really. It's way, way too good. Um, and the funny thing is, it also slows the enemy by 50% for one second when you hit them with your max stack. So quite literally the perfect item for Darius. So yeah, here it comes. The third item, Death Dance. So I used to go for Starrick's Cage quite early or Guardian Angel, but now I found this new combination of items. I don't want to say new because I don't want to sound like I invented it or something. It's just I was experimenting and I found that this works really well on Darius, especially, especially if you're really good at hitting the first ability. Because Death Dance, Death Dance is going to buy you a lot of time, you know, to, to delay the damage and your first ability heals you up. So, and then if you combine that with anti-CC, it means that the enemies just can't burst you down. They cannot. Unless you really suck and you're unable to hit any everything. But 
I'll show you during the gameplay how to utilize this combo of items. And then for your fourth item, it depends. Does the um, does the enemy have heavy attack damage? And or do you just want a guardian angel? Boom, you get the guardian angel. Otherwise, get the Steric Gauge, the perfect item for Darius, and it synergizes with Trinity Force. It gives you even more damage with the Sheen proc. Um, and then for your last item, Guardian Angel. I mean, you could go for some other situational items like, let me see. I mean, Frozen Heart, perhaps, if the enemy, nah, I mean, the thing, Random and Omen is just better. But um, if the enemy doesn't really have any crit, and if they have a lot of attack damage, and you want to, or attack speed, sorry, you can slow their attack speed by Frozen Heart. If they have a lot of crit, you go for the Random and Omen. If you want anti-healing, you go for the Thormill. And by the way, if you want anti-healing, you can get a Bramble Fast quite early on. Um, Spirit Visage is recommended as well. If your team has like a healing support, like Nami or Janna, then you should pretty much always go for Spirit Visage if you need magic resist. However, if you do not have uh, Nami or Janna as your support, or example like that, Force of Nature is going to be your go-to magic resist item. So, about the runes. Um, almost always conquer. If you're against a rough matchup in your lane, like Vayne, like Teemo, especially stupid Teemo, um, you know, just if you're against a raged matchup or a matchup that's like lost, boom, you go for the fleet footwork and you don't lose the matchup anymore. You just don't. You're going to heal up so much in your lane. Um, of course, it's going to cost you quite a significant amount of damage in the late game, but much rather lose damage in the late game than go 0-3 in the early game, right? That's, that's the trade-off that you're making. So with the fleet footwork, you're going to be easy. You're going to be safe against those hard champions. For my second rune, I always go for triumph. Like the perfect team fighting rune, it allows you to take down enemies more easily with your ultimate because it deals 3% bonus damage to enemies below 35% health. And of course, takedowns restore 10% of your missing health. Kills and assists. Really, really good rune for team fights. And for my third rune, as I said, with the new strategy that I'm running with Darius, if the enemy has any sort of CC, you go for the Hunter Titan with the Mercury Sweats and you frontline for your team. Because then you like all the CC is going to be ignored by you pretty much. You could go for some other runes, I mean, uh, Adaptive Carapace for your lane matchup. But as I said, I just really recommend Hunter Titan. It's a really, really good rune on Darius. For your fourth one, Sweet Tooth, because Sweet Tooth is broken. And then for your spells, you go for Flash and Barrier. Oh, I forgot to talk about another thing um, here, about the enchantments. There are different enchantments that you can go for. First of all, which the one, this is my favorite, Protobelt. This one is basically another Flash. It allows you to get close to an enemy, hook them in, and you know, with the slow of your Deadman's Blade, with the slow of your second ability, you catch them. You catch them out and they cannot escape. The other one that you can go for is Stasis against Fizz and Zed. The other one that you can go for is Glorious Enchant. If the enemy is really fast, this allows you to catch up to them and kill them, right? And then the other one is... Oh, you can also go for Stone Plate. This one is really, really good if you really want to tank for your team. If your team has no other frontline except for you, I actually really recommend you to get a Stone Plate because you want to be the tank for your team then. And um, if, especially if you combine it with the Death Stance and as I said, with the, Mer with the Mercury Threats and the Hunter Titan, you're never going to get killed in that frontline. And then the last one you can go for is Teleport Enchant, which I did go for in the game. And go for this one if you want to split push and then teleport to your team. Okay. That was it about the build, let's now get into the gameplay. <clears throat> Alright, on to the gameplay. Take a look at this, by the way. We have a pretty pretty good team. Top 200 Tristan, top, top 50 Camille, top 100 Zed, and a Leona who has tier 6 mastery. And you will see that these enemies were actually quite good, and this is just going to be a very good game. So, let me give you some perspective about this game, which I feel like is going to make this a better video. In this video... I hadn't played Darius for, when was my last Darius video? Three months? Four? I think three months. I am a really good Darius player, let me tell you that. Darius is one of my most played champions, but as I said here, oh, look at this, what I tried to do here. I tried to go for my hook here to catch him, boom. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out. This is, this is also a new thing that I'm trying which I'm getting quite a lot of success with. So let me explain the new strategy that I'm trying in pretty much every single ranked match. And the strategy is, um, I am basically going for a level one catch. Like I want to catch an enemy at level one. 
Let me give you guys examples of that. So when I play Sana, I do not upgrade any ability. I go into the enemy, and if I can catch an enemy, boom, I take my second ability instead of my first to root the enemy, force a flash, and maybe get a kill. This is a thing that I'm experimenting with with a lot of champs. As you saw here, it didn't work with Darius. Um, unless my whole team would have backed me up, it's not worth to take hook level 1 and hook the enemy like that. Here, you can see that I'm clearly... Uh, like not good at Darius yet you know I need to get used to him a little bit that was a beautiful hook by the way but you'll see like it, it's gonna take me a few minutes to get used to his kit again because as I said I hadn't played him for at least two months um, here so yeah you'll get me you'll, you'll see me get used to him again so yeah as I said the strategy that I have which I'm gonna show you guys in more future videos which is the le aggressive level one uh, fight I'm, I have been doing this since a few days and it's been working really well. So I'll teach you more about that in future videos, not anymore in this video. I'm just telling you that it works. But yeah, as I said, I'm going to show you more of it in later videos. So yeah, let's now get back to my pajamas. <laughs> oh, I'm of course going in here because the Camille was right there. He has a flash. Fine. I mean, that was fine. I did a good combo, which is, you know, the standard combo, as I like to say. Hook, basic attack second ability run diagonally to hit your first ability you'll see me do it many times it's the basic darius combo you're gonna get three stacks for free out of it this is like you you have to know how to do this combo effectively if you want to play darius and what i have to say about it it's actually pretty easy like it should pretty much be a guaranteed hit always because you like you know you hook the enemy basic attack second ability and when you use your second ability the enemy is going to get slowed so when the enemy is slowed, you can easily hit your first ability. So it should be a guaranteed hit. So let's now finally talk about the pajamas. So I had a, I had a pretty massive headache today. I don't really know why. And it was like four hours ago. So I, I laid on the couch. I slept for pretty much three and a half or four hours on the couch. My headache was gone. Uh, no, yeah, it was gone. So I went to bed thinking that I could just go to bed after sleeping for four hours on the couch. But I couldn't go to bed. So I was like, let's just make a video, why not? Oh, that's a nice kill, by the way. I was going to skip out today's video because I was like, I had a headache. I was really tired, but then I went to bed and I just couldn't sleep. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to get out of bed and make the video and eat something and then go back to bed. So yeah, I, I, you know, you guys are still going to get a video for today. Yeah. <sighs> That was a really clean kill, by the way. And that really showcased how, as a Darius, if you just catch an enemy and do the standard combo, which I'm not going to repeat, but you know, the hook, basic attack, blah, blah, blah. You're going to get three stacks for free. And another thing to note, this is, like, is going to get a little more advanced, but I'm going to try to make it simple. Another thing to note is at the end of your basic combo, when you use the first ability, you want to use it in a way that you're going to hit the enemy from the sides. Not from the front, because uh, how do I show it? Okay, look. Wait, how am I going to show this? Let me think. Okay, so if I hook an enemy with Darius, how, how am I going to show this? Um, wait, I need to think of a good way, because otherwise it's going to sound way too complicated. So if I hit the enemy from the front, with my first ability. Okay, look, this is from the front. See, it's gonna be hard to catch him. I had to flash to him to kill him. But if I hit him from the side, like if I'm walking here, this, I hit the minions from the side there. Did you see that? I hit the minions from the side and I hit graves from the front. If you hit an enemy from the front, you know, it's like a safe way of hitting your first ability because then you can retreat, but not really engage very well. As you saw there, I had to flash to kill him. But if you hit him from the side, you know, if you move diagonally towards them and hit him from either the left side or the right side, you're already going to be right next to the enemy and it's going to be easy to hit yet another basic attack. So if you want to go in aggressively, you want to hit your um, you want to hit your first ability from the side by engaging diagonally and then, you know, you're going to be able to continuously fight. However, if you just want to take a quick safe trade, you hook them in basic attack second ability and then while using your first ability you walk backwards instead of forwards diagonally okay i really hope that made sense to you guys if it didn't make sense i really recommend you to re-watch that part where i explained 
and what it means to hit an enemy from the front and what it means to hit them from the side because it's quite an important thing to understand with Darius so here you can see I used my teleport to help my team I didn't want the enemy to take the dragon you know I took the enemy turret I killed the graves now I'm basically sacrificing my own turret for my team to take the dragon is it worth look at this I get caught I get caught yeah I just got caught <laughs> so you saw there that the Ari charm was actually not it didn't take that long because I have mercury threats uh, sorry yeah I have mercury threats and hunter titan but still I got killed because I got ignited and I just overstepped like um, positioning like that like I did right there is gonna be fine in the late game but right now I have zero defense look I have zero defense so of course I'm gonna die if I frontline right now so in the early game Darius is not going to be tanky enough to play like I did right there. But in the later game, with the build that I'm going to give you guys, which I gave you, sorry, you can actually do it. You can position like, like I did right there. And I will do it in the game. I'll take a look at this. Boom, boom, boom. I hit it from the, from the front there, by the way. I have my full stacks here. The Darius is back, guys. This this is uh, this was really clean, as you saw right there. Um, <laughs> yeah, your ultimate deals true damage, by the way. So it doesn't even matter how much defense enemies have. You're going to kill them if they're at a low amount of HP, as you saw right there. And you really want to make sure you do actually kill the enemy. Because then it's going to reset your ultimate, which allows those free kills for Darius, right? Like, that's the thing with Darius. Um, he's either super powerful in a team fight, or he's useless. And he, like you're useless if you're unable to reach your max stacks of your passive. And that's the that's the whole thing with Darius. It can be pretty hard to reach your max stacks because it takes five hits on an enemy, or you have to kill an enemy with your ultimate. One of the two ways. Boom, boom. Oh, I actually felt my reset. Here I hit him from the front. Of course I have to flash again because I wasn't next to him and I kill him anyways. But there you saw I hit him at the front way again. And that way, you're unfortunately not going to be able to catch an enemy unless you either flash on him, use Proto Bell, the Glorious Enchant, something like that. So keep that in mind. Uh oh, this is not good. Look, look, look at this. Did you see how, like, even though I died, did you see how little the duration was that I was taunted and charmed? It was like 0 0.5 seconds or something. Did you see that? That is the potential of running the Hunter Titan and the Mercury Threads. Because I got a lot of takedowns in this game. As you can see, I'm fi I have 5 kills, 1 assist on multiple enemies. So that's how I'm stacking up the Hunter Titan. I have no idea what the Zed just tried to do here, by the way. A little bit weird. Oh! Nice try. But yeah. By the way, guys, if you really want to support the channel, make sure you give the video a like. And uh, put down a comment. It helps the channel a lot. This month, I'm not doing a giveaway because I'm already giving away three wild... Oh, true. I need to announce the winners of the wild passes. I almost forgot that. Yeah, because I gave away three wild passes on Twitter. I will probably do a giveaway again next month. We'll see. But yeah, not this month. But you know, if you still want to support the channel, put down a comment. It helps a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so the playstyle that I'm applying in this game is split pushing Darius. As I said, like when you go for the teleport enchant, you can actually play split push Darius. And the reason that I'm not teleporting to my team right now is because I'm saving the teleport for the next dragon. And because I'm farming up and taking turrets, as you can see. Screw my team. I'm just taking turrets right there, as you can see. I'm not going to push any further because all of the enemies are alive. You have to pay attention. Like, Even though it may have looked like I could have potentially pushed... I couldn't because five of the enemies were alive and at least one of them was going to go back, right? But if you, if my team had actually killed a few of them, I would have pushed the inhibitor and gotten it. So yeah, again, I did not teleport there because even if I did and even if I got a few kills, it's really not worth my teleport because I can, I would be much better off using my teleport for the, uh, for the dragon. As you can see right now, the teleport is going to be perfect. They placed down the herald in the baron lane. I have teleport, unfortunately the Zed dies, which is a really bad timing actually. Um, yeah, the Infernal Dragon is up, and here I'm just thinking, okay, what should I do? I'm going to kill the Rift Herald, and then I am going to teleport to my team to help them out. So as you can see, they start the Dragon, I'm still going to kill the Rift Herald, because I don't want the Herald to take my turrets, and boom, I immediately teleport to my team, and as you can see, the enemy is already low, boom, I didn't get my reset, guys, that is so unfortunate. 
However, I did manage to hook the uh, Lestark to get my full stack. Flash with my first ability and just doing my best to get something out of the fight. And dude, the Graves just got a quadra kill. How the hell did the Graves just get a quadra kill? That's so unfortunate. I only killed the Ari there. Dude, if I would have gotten that uh, ultimate reset on the on the Ramus, I would have gotten a pentakill in that fight. Easily. I would have easily gotten a pentakill. But unfortunately, like the, the Ramus was just a tad bit too tanky for me to be able to kill him. So I didn't get that reset. And you can see how hard you get punished for even screwing up slightly on Darius. If you just screw up your ultimate like that, as I said, you get punished hard. Because I didn't have my ultimate in that fight, which caused us to lose the entire fight and lost the dragon, gave enemies bounties, blah, blah, blah. You get the point, right? So it's incredibly important to, to actually get your reset on your ultimate. And the reason that I didn't get the reset there is because the Ramus had used stone plate, which means he gets two times the amount of, or yeah, he gets more HP basically. And I was just unable to kill him with the ultimate. Just pretty stupid of me. Well, I got the Ari. That was pretty good. Look, look at the charm duration. Look at that. It was like nothing. It was literally nothing. I'm trying to. I got my stacks. We come on. When you're low, you can heal up with your first ability. Nice. I killed the Ari right there. You can see right there that even if you're at a low amount of HP, especially when you have Triumph Rune, and when you have the Death Stance, keep fighting. You have to keep fighting because uh, your first ability heals you up by a lot. Your ultimate allows you to kill enemies very easily, and when you kill enemies, you heal up from the triumph. So when you have, the, when you're running this build that I'm giving you right now, it's very important that you keep fighting, because if you constantly run away and get poked down, the build is useless. That's like that's the biggest weakness of this build. So you want to keep fighting. Like even though there I died, I did a good job, because I kept fighting and I played to my powers. You want to keep fighting. Try to hit your first ability to heal up in fights. And really, that's what you want to do. And I, I have been quite unfortunate with my ultimates during the fights. But all I need is just one good team fight with the ultimate. I don't know why the Zed is taking my lane, by the way. He's like useless. He's pretty much two levels behind of me. And he's taking my lane. I have no idea why he would do that. I'm the only one that's carrying the game right now. Like now, I, yeah, I got my ultimate max now. So I have a bigger chance to kill enemies with it. Oh, look at this, look at this. I see my team engaging the enemies in the bot lane. I see enemies slain. And I don't know why I'm taking these ones. I should immediately push the lane. Did I realize that here? Yeah, nice. Okay, so I left that farm because I realized that I immediately need to push my lane. Because all of the enemies are busy with my team right there. I'm thinking about teleporting, but I didn't. The reason that I didn't teleport, look, they're all diving our turret, so they're busy. Look, look, they're very busy. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take the inhibitor. They're all busy, and my teammates even got a lot of kills. Three of them are dead. Two of them are still busy over there. What am I going to do? I'm going to take the turret. Easy peasy. There it is. As you can see, I found the perfect opportunity to take the enemy's turrets. Look at this. Ari's going to try to catch me, maybe. It doesn't even matter. She can't kill me. The charm is going to be like 0 0.3 seconds. Yeah, look. Boom. I'm pretty screwed here, though. Let's be honest. Oh! <gasps> that stasis enchant saved her ass. Did you see that? If she didn't use stasis, I would have killed both of them. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Charm? Ah, I died, though. Man, that's so unfortunate she used her stasis right there. Another little tip that I have for you guys is when you buy the Deadman's Plate and you have it fully stacked, it gives you 50 bonus movement speed, right? So besides the fact that you can easily catch out enemies with it, it gives you more potential to dodge enemy abilities. The simple reason is because you're faster. You know, if you dodge, if you move back or forward or to the sides, 
you're gonna be faster you're gonna be it's gonna be easier to dodge so against an ari utilize this passive to dodge her charm against an ezreal utilize the passive to dodge his skill shots just utilize this guys utilize the bonus movement speed to dodge enemies to dodge enemy abilities as well and here yet again i have teleport so of course i'm gonna teleport to my team to help them out as fast as possible i see a grace right there i missed my hook that sucks I just need to get one kill with my ultimate. That's really all I need. I see an Alistar that has a low amount of HP. Of course, I go on the Alistar because my ultimate deals true damage, guys. Look at this. I'm just going on the Alistar. Boom. 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 It's really that simple, guys. All you need is just your ultimate. And here, I'm just walking like a chat through the turret. I don't even care about turrets. I'm just gonna finish the game. Look at this. Just walking right through their base. Finishing a game on my own. Just doing it as if it's as if it's the normal thing that I do every day. So that was the perfect showcase of how to how you can effectively utilize the ultimate of Darius. Just get a kill. Maybe you can you can even do it on an enemy support, because it deals true damage, as I said, on an Alistar. Even if the Alistar uses her, her ultimate, his ultimate, sorry, um, you can still kill him easily. Because it deals through damage. So let's take a look at how much damage I actually did. Of course, I got the MVP this match. I dealt a lot of damage, as you can see, and I also tanked a lot of damage. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really happy I still made the video today. Because, as I said, I, um, today was going to be a blank day with no video because I was going to go to bed. But yeah, we still have a video. So, thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next Wild Drift video. Bye bye.